So what you want to do is you, you see the latch right here? You lay the computer down, <coughs> push down the latch, and you slide the cover off, take it off. I can't see nothing. Okay, so here's the CD ROM right here. You can see this is it's right there. The top. There should be two screws, one here and one here. What you want to do is you want to take off the screws. With a Phillips, you need a Phillips screwdriver, take it off. And there should be another one here, but I took it off already. Okay, so save those two screws, you're going to need them. So, you see right here, there's, there's two latches right here. One one two for the front cover what you want to do is you want to push up on both of them and then the cover comes off you got to push up on the two latches and then you can attach the front cover of the computer see no cover so what you want to do is you want to unplug everything on the CD right here you unplug the power and the cable right here, these two, you unplug it, save those, then you slide out the CD, the old one, so you take that one out, and then you put the new one back in, and you want to connect the two cables again, this one and this one, like that, you plug them in, and then you put the screws make sure like you line it by the hole right here like this so they have to be like this so after you plug everything in you put the screws in you want to put the front cover again what you want to do is uh you see right here there's some hooks right here inside you put the, put them on the hooks and then then you close the computer, it's closed. So once it's plugged in and everything, you, you already, uh, this whole place. So then once that's in, you want to put the cover back, just slide it in, make sure everything's connected right there. And then just slide it back in. Make sure you turn off the power, take, unplug the power before you do this. You want the power plugged in and then plug it back in and once you're done and you can start the computer and it should work. The first thing is to get rid of the power. Yeah. Before it starts. Before you start, take out, unplug the power for sure. And it should work. It might, it might give you a message like some hardware has changed but I think you can press F1 or something like that to continue so if it gives you a message when you start up uh, just follow the instructions press F1 or it says continue or something alright that's it